morning. Hello, it's another beautiful day here in South Yorkshire. We've got a bit of dew and stuff, so um, Andy will be heading out a little bit later with the tedder, tedding out some grass. Um, we got all these guys to feed. Well, not these out in the field, but um, all the cattle that are inside. So stay tuned, see what we get up to. If you like it, remember as always to press like and subscribe. We've got stuff being got out. Connor's just reversing the mower out. Andy's getting the tether on. We better get in here. Probably jump on the nine meter and put some straw out. Oh, we'll get these bales rode up so that Andy can straw up all these cattle. Get embedded down nicely to keep them happy. Everywhere is looking very nice. And it's round here. Morning Andy! Morning. All right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, not bad, not bad. Have a nice day. Yesterday? Have another nice day. Today. Oh, another nice day, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You'll be busy on the turner again. Yeah. Andy just said it could be 32 degrees this week. It's warm, isn't it? That is isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Whether we're getting the back of that heat wave, but like Josh, you know, French Josh. Yeah. If everybody knows French Josh from videos, um, yeah, it's yeah, been mega hot hard. over there. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot. Not too hot for making air, but too hot. <laughs> so I've just got the pallet tines on, we're moving bits and bobs around. On. Yeah, I want to get tidied up in here basically because I might need to put some hay in this shed. So you've got stuff like silage sheet here to shift in my logs. Andy and Connor just been putting out a bit of straw. What's up, Andy? Well, I know what was wrong with my tractor this morning as I drove past. People might have noticed it. What was wrong with your tractor? Yeah, Alright, oh, okay, okay. It's coffee time! Did you know that? It is. Right, we're gonna get some cattle out now. I've just been on phone to Flash Ash. He's reinsuring his Discovery 5. Last year it was £600. How much do you think it was this year? 1700 quid. In fact, his, his current insurer won't insure him. Nothing's changed, not had any points, um, not had any accidents or anything. Just that they're getting stolen supposedly too much. 1700 quid, he didn't pay that when he was 17. Got some real big fellas coming up here now. They will be big. Come on. Well, outside in the sun, it's absolutely sweltering. Not the day to be wearing black under. No. But in here, cool. lovely and cool. Good ventilation, you see, with the Yorkshire boarding at that end. And we've even took some extra ones out. High ceilings, vents in the top of the roof, and um, nice clean straw for them to lay on. Got to try and keep them as comfortable as possible. I think this filler, fella, even, might be a bit big. <laughs> Weird 446 is still on his front end. Come on, take another, take another step, lad. Oh yes, he big. How much, Andy? How big? Uh, 8.50. Hey, you weren't far off, 8.44, well done. You, you cheater, aren't you? <laughs> you was looking in the mirror. You rotter. You got me then, you know. Yeah, 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 you got me. So I've just, um, we think it's creaking a little bit on these rams here, and we wonder if to oil them or grease them or not, so they're turning rams. So I thought, oh, I'm going, in, I'm going back here, find the manual and have a look. But it's, it's not the manual, it's the how to build it out of a box. I mean, what use is that? I don't need to know how to build it, I want to know how to use it. 
Anyway, I got waylaid about Ash and his car and his insurance. Has anybody, he's done compare the market. Has anybody else got any hints and tips as to where he can insure a Discovery 5 cheaply? Um, I think he's got three points, which he's had forever. Nothing's changed, none of his circumstances. 11, for 1100 quid difference, 1600 pounds for it. Crackers, absolutely crackers. So any help would be appreciated. Right, I'm in the daft. And uh, we're going to take some cattle in. These guys are getting the tedder all greased round. Andy's going to fold her all up, I think. Oh, Andy! Major disappointment. I thought you were going to fold it all up. It don't matter. He's going to um, readjust this because if you remember the other day, I adjusted it and then it's pulled out so as it's obviously been running in the hedge or something it's uh yeah it's pulled out right i'm gonna leave andy to that i'm taking these cattle now and um, get this job done there's some different wheels on the there? Boost. so i'm back in the yard now i am ready for some lunch let me tell you that very much ready right i've had my dinner now um it's absolutely scorching but um I've got the lorry to wash out. So that's my next job. Beautiful. Well, at least it'll be nice and cool in here, spraying water. Oh, let's get this done. So I'll squeegee all the floor out and then psh, we need to wet everything and start taking it down. Right, that's all cleaned down now. We better get my dad, who's come back with the mower. I think we're just gonna give this a quick blast off. Um, well, I've got pressure washer running. He told me he cleaned it down, but that don't look very clean down, does it? Um, anyway, we'll make this look like a new one again. Or near it, nearly. And uh, then we can put it away. So just to unfold it, I'll tell you what, it's nice to be in this aircon. Woo, it's hot out there. Well, it's looking a bit whiter and cleaner. It's a little bit more difficult to make the back mower look brand new because <laughs> it's it's not. Right, we'll get this dropped off then. Somewhere, find a space. Oh, I left these wings up. Look at either side; it makes it a lot wider. Um, I have to fold them back up. Back's dropped off. Now we'll just get on with the front. So we have to lift it up, take these chains off. Might need an ammo. Right, job done. We'll get into the big shadows. This will be ready to put the big baler on. Whether or not we'll get any bailed tomorrow, I don't know, maybe. Might be some ready to go, especially with this heat today. Not a cloud in the sky, look. So I've got the sprayer to drop off. My dad's gonna go and pick up some discs from a friend of ours. We just gotta swap the pickup pitch for the uh, jawbar. Yeah. Push it out. Other way. Other way. Right, and then I'll swap them over. So we're just going to ballast the beast up. So we've got enough pulling power. Connor's been busy filling this with these grain vent things. I bet you're sick at sight of them, aren't you? Uh. <laughs> Right, I'm on it. Um, Connor's going to start a mix. I'm going to start feeding on my lovely clean windowed TM. Well, if I didn't have a thermometer or a weather app, I could tell it's hot because these cows are not eating all the food today. They'll be uh, waiting until it's a bit cooler to, to fill up, I think, or maybe not even eating as much. It's just too warm to be bothered. These guys happily eating out of the Watson trough. Look at that, you can pile it right up. I could even put more into this end because it's never going to knock it over the top. And they're all happy munch that away. Massive thanks to Walter Watson and all the crew there sending me this. It is literally the business. Andy's back from his day in air conditioning. <laughs> hey? Yeah, well. Washing, washing stuff. 
all sorts of bits of stacking all them in. Well, I'm, I'm claiming that actually. I did about the top layer. Connor did the the list. Yeah, he did. He did the did the, the vast majority of it. To be honest, me and Andy have just been doing a speed mix. So we got majority of it in now. We'll just tip the last few bits because sometimes it spills. You see, and uh, we might as well have it spilling where we want the mix rather than spilling over all over the yard. So me and Connor just been dropping off the rake, uh, no, tedder. I've got a rake on the brain because Andy's got it on down here, you see, and he's just putting the tine that fell off back on. Changing this one. You're changing one, are you? All right. But I lost the little, that little f uh, fancy washer, I, I think. What did I not? Well, they all not got them at that side. Ah, wonder why that is then. So washer's on at this side, there, on the last one. They have look handy. Yeah, that, that, that's the one that I lost. That, look, it's the end ones. Yeah. It's just the very end ones. I think it's to stop. I guess like, they're the ones that get the most batter. I guess it would stop them sliding off, the uh, other ones if they broke, I don't know. Class Eastern have got themselves in the video again, Andy, for superior service. They've dropped me this off as Harry, because he was passing. But do you know the best part, the thing about it, Andy? We don't even need it anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think I'll be going back down there on Thursday and taking it on back. But that is um, a massive thank you to Harry for doing that for us. Um, but yeah, we've actually got it fixed. <laughs> right, I've left them to two finishing greasing round and setting that up. And we'll just get the rest of the cattle fed. The big beastie discs have arrived. Connor's gonna grease all that up so that um, it's all in tip top condition. They're an animal, aren't they, Andy? Eh? Hey? Proper beast. Dad says you've got to like unstrap them, and then you've got to bolt them together and stuff. All right. Like round here. It's one. Put like some bolts. Heavy duty. We used to have some like this. Nowhere near as big though. I'm sure, a lot of people will use them over the years. So I'm just going to go and drop off the big beastie um, discs in the field. But while I'm here, I thought we'd get mixer ventures done. And it's a special one today, very special. So it's Dr. K and Rob Duffy. So um, them guys are from Germantown in America, which is somewhere near, I forget now, near Washington. Have a Google of it, Germantown. Very, very nice. Um, it's their fifth wedding anniversary. And of course, where would they be going on their fifth wedding anniversary? Hawaii. They were only in Vegas the other day. Now they're going to Hawaii. Can't, honestly, can't beat it. But I, I suppose it's exotic to us in, in the UK. But um, if you're in America, it's still exotic. <laughs> so um, yeah, happy happy anniversary to them guys. Um, I think it's on the 12th, so we'll probably, we'll probably redo it again anyway. But yeah, brilliant. So I'm just dropping the bee stuff now. They don't mess about. That's a spanner, that, isn't it? Eh? That is a spanner. Um, just gonna put the jack down. Pull the pin out of there. Hopefully, at some point it'll go loose. Get these jobs off. Disconnected now. And I think this is probably where I'm gonna leave it. Um, if you have liked today's video, then as always, if you press like and then subscribe if you've not already. And we will see you in tomorrow's video, where hopefully we'll be using this getting it out in the field and um, just putting it in a little bit just to scratch the surface really more than anything. With these I know you can go in fair deep and really rip some rip some ground up but that's not really what we're going to be, um, be really using them for. So um, yeah, anybody got experience using them anyway? They used to be very very popular around here. I think they've fallen out a little bit of favour um, of recent but we're going to give them a go. The Simba uh, what were they called? Simba, Simba discs? I don't know. Somebody will let me know in comments anyway. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.